Okay, everybody, so we are going to be starting our bedroom drawings and I'm gonna take you through that step-by-step. Step. I know I did post a tutorial that was from YouTube, but I really wanted to be the one instructing you myself. So what you need for today is a pencil, you need a ruler and a piece of paper and a hard surface to draw on, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna to need to do is we need to place a dot in the center of our paper, which is going to be our vanishing point. Um, we cannot do this just by randomly placing a dot. Um, we actually need to first measure, sorry, measure our paper in order to find the center of it, okay? So I'm gonna measure the length here. So hopefully you can see, I'm lining my ruler up with the side. It's eight and a half inches, which would mean four and a quarter is the um, halfway point for that. So I made two dots. We always measure twice. Okay, and then I'm gonna make a nice light line. This could be my horizon line. So I have that. You guys can probably see that lightly. And then on this line, I'm gonna measure the length of my paper, which is approximately, supposed to be 11 inches. It's a little less, but 11 would mean that five and a half is the center. Okay, so now I know that's my center point. Um, from that, I'm gonna be using my paper, the edges of my paper as the outside edge of my room. Okay, that's gonna be the edge of my room. So to get um, floors and a ceiling, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this slightly. What you can do is make an X on your paper so if you don't have a ruler that's long enough to go all the way across the page, you can line up your dot, your vanishing point with the corners. I'm gonna make an X this way. And I'm gonna line that dot up with the other corner. Make an X going down. It's really not an X yet, but a line. Same thing this way. So now I'm gonna go from the dot to the corner. And from the dot to the other corner. Okay. So now we're going to work on getting our floor and our ceiling um, and our walls. Okay. So those are going to become these spaces. So an easy way to do that is to get, um, you're going to draw a box inside of this. Okay. So I'm going to line my ruler up with the bottom of my paper so that it's parallel. Okay, see that it's parallel? So this is a straight line that's straight at the bottom. And I'm just gonna decide, I'm not measuring that. I'm gonna decide where I want the bottom of my floor to be. It's gonna go here. And so now I have that line, I'm going to come up straight up. So that's not exactly straight. I gotta come to the edge, be parallel. So I'm gonna go from that edge there Draw a straight line. And again, it's all about it staying parallel. I'm hoping this is straight here. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. And the same thing from the bottom to the top. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now that I have that, I can actually take out this inside X because that's gonna be kind of like the back wall and I can erase the horizon line within there. I'm gonna keep the vanishing point because that's where we're gonna make, that's like the most important spot. That's what we're gonna be um, like drawing every single line from. Okay, so this is gonna be the back, hopefully you could see it a little bit now. This is the back wall, this is the ceiling, sides, and that's gonna be my floor. So again, this doesn't have to be true to uh, what your room actually looks like. I am kinda gonna go from memory here for my room. So on my room, I actually have a window on this back wall. So that I don't need to use the vanishing point for, but I'm just gonna put uh, I might put it a little bit above that horizon line area. I'm gonna sketch this in. I have a big window. And you don't have to always use the ruler, but I'm gonna eyeball this. Okay. 
Okay, and I actually have like a casement window. And then on it, there's three separate. And this can be sketchy, okay? So I have a window like that, okay? Underneath that window is my bed. So we are gonna be using this vanishing point, don't lose this, to draw all the other lines, okay? But while I have them on windows, I actually have another window on this wall. So what I'm gonna do to draw that window to make it in perspective is I'm gonna line up my ruler with the vanishing point and I'm looking at, on this side, how high it is from the ceiling, okay? So I have a window that's it's actually close to the end of the wall here. So to draw the top of it, and the bottom of it so that it looks like it's in perspective and it's really sitting on that wall, I need to use this vanishing point. So I'm gonna do that. Now again, I'm gonna keep this parallel to the edge of my paper and I'm gonna draw sides of that window. Again, you guys can add things that maybe aren't part of your actual room because nobody's coming to your house to check this and see what your room really looks like okay so that's just a square right now maybe i have a window ledge again we have to use the edge of our vanishing point to make the ledge so maybe i'll have an, a ledge that comes out Okay, um, now, again, I could have like a halfway part of my window. Maybe it's half, like a double hung window, which actually mine is. So it's split in half. You could make a curtain rod, you could do curtains, all that, but everything has to come from the center point. So you don't get rid of that until the very end. I'm gonna quickly show you how you could do um, a floor. I don't have a wood floor, but I'm gonna pretend I do just for argument's sake. So all the lines of a wood floor, in order for them to be drawn in perspective, has to be drawn from this dot that we have here, which is our vanishing point. So, you know, what we can do is we can make the, the boards in equal intervals. So how about every inch? I'm going to go measure every inch going all the way across my paper. And then from those dots, I'm going to connect it to the vanishing point. I'm only going to draw up to here because remember, it's my floor. So to make the lines look like they're drawn in perspective and that it really is a floor sitting flat on the ground, these lines are going to get straighter as they come towards the center and they're more angled as they go out. And that's how we draw an actual floor in perspective. You guys are going to get to put detail into this drawing next week. So for today's hand in, um, your or turn in, you're only turning in a pencil drawing. I don't want you to do anything more than this because I'm going to guide you every step of the way into how we can make this look more three-dimensional and spice it up with some color. All right, I was a little off on that one, but that's okay. Kind of have a makeshift drawing board here. Okay, so now you can kind of see that that looks like a floor space. Now I'm gonna be covering up some of this with a bed and that's gonna be the last thing I show you. If you wanna put like some picture frames on the side of this wall here, we can do that actually last too. You can put curtains. Um, you can also make your wall, your back wall much bigger than mine. It could be a lot larger. Um, like in Vincent Van Gogh's room, he has just a bed on the side. Some of you might have that. I actually don't. My bed is against that wall and it's a big bed because I'm married and so I share it with someone. But, um, so I'm gonna make a headboard. And then from here now, this is gonna sound weird, but it's actually gonna come out against the wall. I'm using the vanishing point and I'm using this corner 
and I'm gonna make my bed wide. You'll see why in a moment. Okay, same thing over here. Actually, I gotta go that way. So I'm gonna use this vanishing point at the top. I'm lining it up, drawing out. Looks a little weird, but this is the truth about a big bed. Okay, so now might look super short, but it's not really. It's going to be ending, and now because it's overlapping all this stuff, I don't really need this stuff on the inside here. So you might want to have a... Uh... So to make this three-dimensional, I'm going to be pulling the corner of my bed down here. Here you can also use a ruler if you want to. Make sure you're parallel with the bottom of your paper. King size bed takes up a lot of space. It actually really does in reality. Okay, I'm regretting drawing these lines so dark. Hopefully you guys get the idea though. And you can add details, like, you know, it can be sketchy right now. I have lots of pillows on mine. Okay, messy bed. All right, and then it also, you know, might have a footboard or you want to really make it look like it's supported. So it has to at least have some of those. You might even see, I mean, we're not going to see because the other feet are way in the back. All right, now I'll quickly show you how you can add some decor over here. Okay, so I still have my vanishing point here. So from here, I'm going to hang up some pictures on the wall. You could make this look like it has some something in it, but that's basically what I'd like to see you guys do for what you're going to turn in this week. If you want to put something on the ceiling, remember it still kind of needs to be three dimensional. Like I have a fan above mine, so maybe I want to add this. You have to remember when you're looking from above the horizon line, right? You're gonna see the underneath of things. You're not gonna see the top. I can't see all that. We're gonna do lots of shading and fun stuff next week, but so you could see my room. All right, guys. So that's a quick tutorial on how you can get started with your bedroom. I wish you luck. This is really a pre-recorded message because I may be too busy to teach you guys live tomorrow, but I'm gonna post it anyway. Whoops. Thanks so much. I will see you guys next week to add details to these.